Today we'll be reacting to Coco Jones performing the US national anthem. But before we start, this is a reaction video, it's a commentary video, so I'm gonna pause and provide some commentary along the way, but I'll of course link the full performance below so that you can check it out without me disturbing you. But you clicked reaction, so here we are. And now tonight's presentation of our national anthem is being performed by actress, singer, songwriter, and NAACP Image Awards outstanding new artist, Coco Jones. Yes. I've heard that she's done one before when she was like nine years old. So yeah, go check that out. I love a full circle moment. Oh, say, oh, yes. can you see by the dawn's early light? What you know, I've reacted to Jasmine Sullivan performing the national, U.S. national anthem. And immediately with Coco's dark tone here, it was, it, it reminded me of Jasmine Sullivan. Uh, and you know, I love that. I'm here for it. I love Jasmine Sullivan. And also I love Coco's deep tone. It's so like full, rich. She sounds so good in that lower register. Can you see by the dawn's early What so proudly we held Nice At the twilight's last gleaming Oof mm, gleaming That's such a low note and the tone on that thing That's what I mean, that rich dark tone on those low notes it's so beautiful she sounds a little bit nervous not in a way where you can hear it in her pitch her pitch is good so far uh, but in the way where you can hear that she's sort of rushing the phrases just a little bit and and having to breathe more uh, that's that nervousness and to be completely fair she's doing this a cappella meaning there is no instruments there to back her up. She's, it's just her voice with that microphone. It's so naked and it's so, yeah, it's the most vulnerable you can be. I would be super nervous <laughs> in front of all these people before a big game. And also maybe she's feeling that, you know, the full circle moment of, of her doing this now as an adult. But anyway, it's not affecting her pitch. Like I said, it's, it's just a little, like she shortens or rushes the phrases just a little bit. Last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts. Like the placement of her um, soft palette there. Light like it's raised it's cool because that you can you can tweak sorry my hair was caught there you can tweak your your soft palette to give different tones to your voice so on that word there what was it lie 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 almost into kermit territory but don't get me wrong it's it's a useful tool when you're singing and it, it's sort of enriches that tone of hers and also when you want to sing lower and have it sound as rich as she is sounding you know um it's it's like you have to give you have to do a little bit of that soft palette raise to to have some resonance you get some of those higher frequencies but on the same note you know but some of those higher frequencies in that note if you picture an eq like Instead of lie, ah, uh, flat, uh, uh, more rounded, you know? So that's, that's what the soft palette does. Uh, sorry, that was a long explanation. Through the perilous fight, fight, fight was the word. the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streamed. Beautiful vibrato there. And the rock is a red glare. That's so good. That glare. Because 
she's up up on in in the higher parts of her register now and what's difficult when you get up there is the more consonants you have like glare that's two consonants right there at the start of that highest uh, of the word at the highest note right here and what the consonants do is they they are a hindrance to the airflow you know singing is about that airflow it's about controlling it so sort of holding it back but also releasing the right amount you know that's what singing is and letting your vocal folds vibrate on that and there's obviously a lot more that goes into that but lyrics affect your vocal technique so uh for on that high note there it would have been easier to just start maybe with an h even to get that cry ah, but glare 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 some consonants help you but in a sentence like this where you get a lot of consonants start sort of abrupting that airflow a lot uh it can be hard it can be hard but they can also help you to get that onset so you don't just slide up on that note you know so it depends but she did a beautiful belt there and again even with this little nervousness it hasn't again affected her pitch you know so perhaps Again on night there, night, night, with that uh, raised soft palette. Anyway, uh, you can hear she's, she's wanting to add some of those embellishments that we know that she's got on lock. I've heard her do runs, you know, on, on ICU. She's brilliant. But she's trying to add some of that, but you can hear that nervousness again, again coming into play here with... Um, making her wanting to breathe more because it makes you sort of insecure and, and that makes you want to fill up your lungs so that you're sure you have enough breath for those higher notes and those embellishments, the runs or melisma, whatever you want to call it, uh, but, but the things you want to do musically uh, to add to the song. And even without that, you know, it's a song with a lot of like highly anticipated high notes <laughs> like people really love to hear singers do those uh so she's probably feeling feeling that and just breathing more to make sure that she's got everything and that's the thing about the vocals i say that all the time but your voice your instrument is a part of your body so everything that affects your body like movement or nervousness anything like that directly affects the way your instrument sounds so but she sounds great I, she has got this beautiful tone it's just this little nervousness that's making her sound a little bit more insecure than what i know that she could have delivered if she was super secure and and confident and and not nervous you know because she's got nothing to be nervous about that voice is gorgeous That reminded me of, of Jasmine Sullivan's version. Was still there. Just wanted to point that out. But she did a different run at the end than what Coco does here. And again, you can tell she's got the musicality, she's got the direction, but she's just a little bit unsure. If she was just not nervous, she would have. That our flag was still It's beautiful. Does that star's bangled banner yet wave? Yes, she plays it a little bit safe here. Wait. She plays it a little bit safe here with, with her melisma, with her runs, embellishments. And that's a smart thing to do also. And that's part of being a good singer and, and being a musician, like listening to what your body is telling you, like if you're feeling nervous, maybe do the safe choice. 
you know and like she does here you you feel her direction you feel that that's where she wants to go you don't feel like oh she stumbled into this because she was trying to do something else but then she ended up here no she's got direction in this so 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 she chose that safe path one would sound fumbly she doesn't she sounds like she's got that direction but she's making the safe choice and that's that's smart when you're a singer it's just the same thing if you're if you're feeling that you know i don't feel like my technique is in the right place right now in this moment even though you can have it the same day or the next day it's there but in the moment if you feel it maybe go for the safe choice so that you don't end up in a in a fumbling situation so yeah props again to coco oh, the land of the free. go vibrato come on Gorgeous tone, yes. Mm -hmm. Lift his soft palate again. Yes. I honestly, I love her tone so much. And even though she was nervous, like I said, it did not affect her pitch. She was on pitch. She was just... Yeah, you could just tell that she wasn't in her, like, comfort zone. Because if she was, she would have really killed it. But I, th I still think... This was a beautiful performance. It was a great... She did a great job. I just wish that she trusted her talent because there's plenty of it, you know? She's such a good singer. And that tone... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to practice, you know, lifting my soft palate now to get more of that really rich, nice tone that she's got, especially in the lower parts of her register there. And I can't wait to hear her become just more secure, more confident on stage and just yeah feel herself feel herself as the vocalist she is i can't wait to see see that just see her play around because she's got it and i i yeah i'm repeating myself <laughs> but i really can't wait to see where she goes she's got a beautiful beautiful voice and she's got the control she's got the pitch she's got the dynamic variation she's got everything she just needs to trust it because it's there if you're still watching, please leave hearts in the comments for Coco because she did an amazing job. Thank you so much for watching till the end. I really appreciate it. And like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Now